is the process that I sometimes go through for chorus writing. We did destination writing where it was focused on the, um, not the thoughts and feelings, but on the sensory details. The taste, touch, sight, sound, smells, and movements. And we wrote for like five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. Um, so now we're going to try to do the same thing. And instead of writing focused on all those sense words, I'm going to have you write focused on your thoughts and feelings in response to those sense words. We did Central Park for destination writing. So I'd like you to try to picture yourself in Central Park um, watching this old man sitting in his bones on this park bench and little kids running around. It's kind of, um, it's, it's a bit chilly. It's late fall and they're, um, they have these um, multicolored coats and they look like little marshmallows running around on the sugar frosted ground. Kind of a cool idea. Um, there's the scents of pine. Um, there's wool, fuzzy wool adult coats. There's, it's a bit windy and brisk. Okay, now tell me what you're thinking and feeling as a result of this scene. Bittersweet sorrow. Ah. Nostalgia. Painful joy. Give me some, uh, f some, some uh, larger phrases. Fill in the blank. And I wonder why. If only I could. If only I could stop the time. Another way we can think about what we're trying to do here is we're trying to come up with sort of the moral of the story, right? What do you really believe about life? What do you really believe about the world? And you want your listener to know. Some things always stay the same. Hmm. Other thoughts? Be nice to get lost amidst the thoughts. Be nice to get lost. I'm going to remove that last part because it's a little bit external. Great, we have a ton of ideas here. Um, so just kind of adding this in with the other internals that we have, we have a lot of, a lot of big thoughts. Okay, so um, <clears throat> courses don't typically y utilize the toggling patterns that we would use for a verse. Can you imagine why? They're more universal. Yeah, there's a lot of internal language in a chorus. Um, a lot of big thought, like um, Kelly Clarkson's Breakaway, for example. I'll, I'd spread my wings and I'd learn how to fly. I'd do anything till I touch the sky. So that's what we're trying to do is to get this, this really big zoomed out idea of this is how I see the world. What do you see for titles? <coughs> bittersweet sorrow. And it's yeah. a bittersweet <laughs> sorrow. I was thinking that too. Okay. <laughs> so let's just start with that. There's a lot of titles in there. Um, but let's start there, see if we can this. 